Fifth grade, chapter three, lesson four, round decimals. Unlock the problem. The gold frog of South America is one of the smallest frogs in the world. It is 386 thousandths of an inch long. What is the length rounded to the nearest hundredth of an inch? So underline the length of the gold frog, so it is 386 thousandths. Is the frog's length about the same as the length or width of, the, of a large paper clip? So, yes or no? Okay, so, but which one? Would it be the width? The width or the length? The width, right? So, the width of a large paper clip. Okay. So write the number in the place value chart and circle the digit in the place to which you want to round. So they already wrote it on the place value chart for us, right? And it says, what do we want to round it to? We want to round it to the hundreds, hundreds right? So we're going to look at the six. In the place value chart, underline the digit to the right of the place in which you're rounding. So we already did that. We're going to look at the six. If the digit to the right is less than five, the digit in the place value to which you are rounding stays the same. If the digit to the right is five or greater, the digit of the rounding increases by one. So drop the digits after the place to which you are rounding once you round, right? So we are going to write 0.3 because that's not going to change, right? No. Now is that 8 going to stay the same or is it going to become a 9? It's going to become a 9. Another way, use place value. The little grass frog is the smallest frog in North America. It is 437 thousandths of an inch long. What is the length of the frog to the nearest hundredth of an inch? So we would look at, we want to do the three. We look at the seven. Is the seven five or higher? Yes. Yes, so it would be 0 0.5. Four, four. What is the length of the frog to the nearest tenth of an inch? So we want to change the four, or keep it the same. And we're going to look at the three. So is three, five, or higher? No. So it would stay the same. same. So our answer would be, so down here we'd write 0 0.44, and down here we'd write 0 0.4. Example, the Goliath frog is the largest frog in the world. It is found in the country of Cameroon in West Africa. The Goliath frog can grow to be 11 and 815 inches long. How long is the Goliath frog to the nearest inch? So we are going to write 11815. And then they want us to find the place value to which you want to round. So circle that digit. So we want to go to the nearest inch. So what are we going to look at? The one, the one in the one spot, right? Okay. And then we're going to look at the, or use the eight. Okay, underline the digit to the right of the place value to which you're routing. We did that. So the nearest, so to the nearest inch the Goliath frog is about, so is that going to, well, so is the one going to see the same? No. It's going to become a two, because eight is five or higher, so it is about, 12. 12 inches long. Explain why any number less than 12.5 and greater than or equal to 11.5 would round to 12 when rounded to the nearest whole number. With any number greater than 5, you round up. With any number less than 5, you stay the same. Try this. Round 14 and 603,000. So we need to write it in our box. And then they want us to round it to the nearest hundredths. So what are we going to circle? Zero and underline the three. So we rewrite anything in front of the zero, right? Because that's not going to change. And then is that going to stay as a zero or become a one? Become a one. Or it'll stay a zero. Stay a zero because three is less than five. Now technically, would you have to write that zero? No, no, because it's only holding a spot. But, um, but in this case, they were asking, so we did, right? 
right, so they want us to do the same number, so 14603. And then this time they want us to round to the nearest whole number. So we're going to circle the 4 and underline the 6. Okay, so we would write what? So we would go up, so 5, or 6 is 5 or higher, right? So we go up 1, 2, 15. Sharon, show, write the place value of the underlying digit. Round each number to the place of the underlying digit. Okay, so what is the underlying digit? Seven. No, what place are you guys? Oh, hundreds. Okay, now you've been taught you circle what you're going to change, right? Yes. Or what you're, then what you're looking at, and then they have already underlined it. I still want you to circle this then and underline the three, okay? So you're going to write whatever you saw in front of the circle, right? So 0 0.6. And then is that 7 going to stay the same or is it going to go up once? Stay the same. Stay the same because 3 is below oh, five. 5, right? Okay, what place value do they have underlined in this one? Tens. Tens. So we're going to circle what they have underlined, and then we're going to underline the 8. What do I go ahead and rewrite? Um, 14. 4 decimal. And then, is that going to stay as a 2, or is it going to become a 3? Yeah. Become a 3. So 4 and 3 tenths. Okay. The next one, what place value is that? Um, 1s. So we're going to circle there too and underline a 9. We're going to go ahead and rewrite 1 because that's in front of our circle, right? Now, is that 2 going to become a 3 or stay a 2? Become, become a 3 because 9 is, is 5 or higher, right? Okay. All right, name the place value to which each number was rounded. So they took um, 982,000 and rounded it to 98. So what place value was it rounded to? So just two after the decimal, which is hundreds. Okay, number five, they rounded it from three and six hundred ninety-five thousandths to four. So what place value was it rounded to? Oh, oh ones. 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 Now, is there a THS on that one? No. No, because it is on the left side of the decimal, right? Okay. 7 and 486 thousandths to 7 and 5 tenths. 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 Okay. And then in a little bit, you guys are going to um, do 7 through 12 and then 13 through 15 on your own. Okay. Round 16 and 748 thousandths to the named place. So they went to the tenth. So we're going to circle the seven and underline the four. So we're going to write 16 point, and then is it going to be seven or eight? Seven. Seven, because four is below five. Then you can erase that. Then we're going to circle the... Four. Four and underline the eight. Write everything to the left of our circle. So we're going to write 16.7. And then is it going to become a four or a five? Five. A five because eight is five or higher. Okay. You can erase that so we can use that number again. Or if you didn't want to have to erase, could you rewrite the number under each one and then circle what you needed? Yes. Okay. Then this one, they want the 1, so I'm going to circle the 6 and underline the 7. Is it going to be 6 or 7? Seven? 7. 7, so it's going to be 17, because the 7 was 5 or higher, right? Explain what happens when you round 4 and 999 thousandths to the nearest 10. Everything gets rounded to a 10, which is which moves everything to the left to a zero, and four eventually becomes five. Problem solving. Use the table 
or 20 to 22. The speeds of two insects when rounded to the nearest whole number are the same. Which two insects are they? So it'd be ones that are rounded to the same whole number. So which one would that be? The bumblebee and the honeybee. Okay, because the bumblebee has two and the Because the bumblebee is two and eight hundred sixty-one thousandths, and we would circle the two and then underline the eight, and that would become three, right? And then the honeybee is two and five hundred forty-eight thousandths, so we would circle the two, underline the five, and the two would become a three. What is the speed of the house fly rounded to the nearest hundredth? So the house fly, we circle the, what's in the hundredth spot? Six, six and underline the seven. seven. We'd rewrite 1.9 because that's to the left of the um, six of our circle, right? Mm -hmm. And then is that going to become a six or a seven? Seven. A seven. Because seven is five or higher. Number 22, hot problem, what's the error? Mark said that the speed of the dragonfly rounded to the nearest 10 was 6 and 9 meters per second. Is he correct? If not, what was his error? He was incorrect because 7 is 5 or higher, making the 9 a 10, and then that is making the 6 a 7. Number 27, right math. A rounded number for the speed of an insect is 5 and 67 hundredths meter per second. What is the fastest and slowest speed to the thousandths that could round to five and sixty-seven hundredths? Explain. The fastest would be five and six hundred seventy-four thousandths because four is below five. So rounded it would be five and sixty-seven hundredths. The slowest would be five and six hundred sixty-five thousandths because five rounds to round up the number, so you could get five and sixty-seven hundredths. To which place value is the number rounded? So they went six and seven hundred six thousandths to six and seventy one hundredths. So they circled this and looked at the six, right? So what place value is it rounded to? Hundredths. Because there's only, in our answer, there's only two places after the decimal, right?